Hi everyone, this is Dave from Daily Tech TV with another Q&A session for you. Now before I kick off this Q&A, people are asking about the t-shirts again. Yes, this one, YouTube logo. YouTube.com forward slash Daily Tech TV underneath. Where did I get this one? I got it on eBay and it cost me round about, I think it was about £11, something like that. Let's get on with this Q&A though. And I've got a question that was sent in via email from John. And John says, if Apple made OS X, available for all PC users, do you think it would overtake Windows? And second question, do you think Apple should do this? Well, first of all, people already put OS X on Windows boxes. You have to select certain components for it to work, and they're termed as Hackintosh devices, and it can be fiddly to get them working, but normally once they're up and running, they're pretty stable. You just have to be careful when upgrades come out not to software update straight away before you've checked around on the Hackintosh forums to see if the latest update's gonna break anything. So it is possible already. You're asking if Apple uh, did this sort of officially, would um, it overtake Windows? Well, no, I don't think it would overtake Windows. I think it would be an absolutely superb thing though because it would give Windows PC users an option to buy cheaper hardware and install Mac OS X on there. Do I think Apple should do this? Yes. Do I think they would ever do this? No, I don't think they ever would license the software to be used on other machines. Don't forget that probably, I can't remember how many years, but probably 10 years ago, might have been around that sort of time scale, they did actually license OS X to third party manufacturers and there was different boxes available. Um, I think Star, not Star Tech, Star something did one. I can't, I can't remember now. But there were other brands that you could buy that came with OS, uh, would have been OS 9 or maybe even OS 8 back then. And they worked okay. The operating system wasn't as stable then as it is now, but it did work okay. But I think Apple stopped that because it was spoiling their brand. It was no longer a premium brand because there was all these different price points that people could buy in at. And I think what Apple wanna do is maintain control over both the hardware that they put out. I know they don't manufacture every single component themselves, but they wanna maintain that control to make sure everything works as they would expect it to. And they wanna maintain control of the software as well and only make it available on their devices. So great question, what do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Please do leave me some more questions. Please also tell all your friends and family about Daily Tech TV. Point them up there towards that subscribe button and get them to subscribe. And I will see you all in the next video.